Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another great day. Listen, man, I'm excited about today's passage because look, man, it's one that we've all heard of, but I bet almost none of us has paused to take just a little bit of time to delve a little bit deeper into it. It's Matthew chapter 6, verses 5 through 15. And man, I'll be honest with you, as I've been leading up in, in, in the past, I would get to this passage and honestly, I would just blow right through it because you see, it's a, a teaching on the Lord's Prayer. And Jesus is teaching on not just how to pray, but why we should pray this way, right? And, and he's talking about these folks, these hypocrites who would, would pray with these loud, elaborate prayers, and maybe throw some extra syllables in some words and, and just say some of these fancy speeches and try to sales pitch God uh, on the things that they want to all the while trying to impress people all around them. And she says, that's not the way we're to pray. But instead, when we pray, we're to go to our closet in secret where our Father in heaven will hear us. And we're to pray this way. And he lays out the Lord's Prayer. But honestly, man, I, I've been kind of jaded to that because of football. And man, we just kind of everybody would Tebow and then we would say the Lord's Prayer and then be like, go rip their heads off. And so I got jaded on it. But man, as I've been looking at it over the last couple of days, just the, 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 the richness of this prayer and the richness of this passage has been changing my life. And, and one way that we can kind of summarize it and catch the big theme of, of Matthew 6 is by a quote by Emily Griffith, man. And I want you to check this out because it's a game changer. She says, you should have it firm in your mind that prayer is neither to impress other people nor to impress God. It's not to be taken with a mentality of success. The goal in prayer is to give oneself away. The Lord loves us, perhaps most of all, when we fail and try again. So what I want us to catch as we, as we work through the Lord's Prayer today and even the rest of this week, what I want us to catch is that it's not about success. It's not about convincing God. It's not about impressing other people. But that, in fact, it's about going to God and, and, and laying yourself out in front of Him in secret where there's no one to impress, where there are no masks, where there's no fakeness, where there's no uh, pretense. And it's just the real you, not the, the ideal you, not the, not the Facebook profile you, but the real you. Because that's the God, that's, that's the you that God loves, is the real you. And where you can go to God and you can lay out and you can talk, talk to Him, just like you would talk to anyone else. And in the Lord's Prayer, we see these themes, and, and I want us to catch these themes for us, and then we'll head out and we'll go pray. Man, it is the themes of trust and forgiveness, of persistence, and of community. Don't miss those four things. Trust, forgiveness, persistence, and community. we got to trust God when we pray and trust that He is good and that He'll take care of us. There has to be forgiveness, not only from God to us, but from us to other people. That there has to be a sense of persistence, that this is like a Christian Shema, something we would say daily, every single day that we would pray in this way. And then finally, that it's a, a thing of community, that it's not us alone. There are no Lone Ranger Christians, but that to pray in community for one another, with one another, uh, that God would move not only in our lives, but in the lives of other people. Now, I hope this will help re, uh, reopen uh, your mind about the Lord's Prayer and that it would challenge you to begin to pray in this way. Henry Nouwen says this, that to pray uh, well, to, to pray well, we got to pray often. Uh, and so, so I want to challenge you guys not only to pray, but to pray often. And when you do, you'll find that you're praying well and that God is moving in incredible ways. Hey, take our memory verse, Matthew 6, 1, memorize it, own it, put it into practice, read this scripture, read the prayer, pray the prayer, watch the video and share it with other people. I love you guys. We'll talk to you soon.